so let's start to understand about AC and DC what is AC AC of course we know that which is alternative current and DC of course we also know that which is direct current but actually what is alternative and what is direct how to generate alternative current of course DC is direct that you can say the voltage is going to be stable and you just transmit uh, the current in a one direction right so it is the DC right and uh, what is alternate current how it is alternating is changing so this all are going to cover in this session okay so uh, please uh, be focused and try to understand it right so let's uh, start with the begin of uh, what is current first of all we know this is the type of current AC and DC that flowing inside the conduction right AC and DC current which is passed through the conduction or you can say conductor material uh, that current pass through it what is current current is electric charges that you can see in the first uh, uh, GIF or you can say picture moving picture that has electron and uh, this electrons are just moving here and there it's called the nucleus right of course you know that okay so this all this structure is called the charges okay and these charges are moving here to there so this is the flow of charges it's called the current what kind of amount is what kind of force applied in it how is going to be resistance in it okay so this all are comes in a, a voltage and the resistor we will see in the next video about this maybe but right now let's focus on a AC and DC so you know the current now the electrons or the charges it's uh, the group of electrons or a group of charges which is uh, just moving here and there it's called the current right now there's two types of current which is what AC alternate current and DC direct current so of course AC what is that AC we know AC is uh, AC current is discovered or you can say invented by whom Tesla Nikola Tesla right and the DC you can see the picture of the Nikola Tesla on the screen okay the next picture is uh, who invented DC current right and who is that you know that right Edison Thomas Edison right these are two men a brilliant man who invented AC and DC that's why each and every house at present also using it after decade okay this invention is very huge and we are using still there is no any invention more but AC and DC are there and of course in future too right so AC is invented by the Nikola Tesla and DC is invented by the Thomas Edison okay now you can see the next picture what is that uh, can you imagine or you can guess something like that okay so I'm going to tell what is this let's see some knowledge also it's not only just uh, uh, understand and just write it up in the paper right no you just understand what is this okay I think you observe already so let's see what is this this is in 1891 international electro technical exhibition okay so in this picture you can say okay uh, before that let's uh, AC rise in not in USA okay not in New York uh, not in Buffalo City first of all AC is invented in 1891 
Germany. Frankfurt, Germany. Okay. So uh, this is the first of all. Uh, uh, this is the electrotechnical exhibition, and in this first AC is generated. Okay, and then it uh, hydrochloric dam that uh, uh, near to the Buffalo NY that transmit in uh, New York City Buffalo that transmit AC, and this is the first. Uh, uh, you can say project that you got or not you of course you not you it's a uh, Nikola Tesla got uh, to generate the AC with uh, 50 Hertz 120 volts right so <clears throat> this is the uh, plant in a uh, Niagara Fall and uh, 1896 okay some kind of that, that you can imagine somehow you can see the power station also like this too so let's get the point you may be a board right so let's start about AC and DC so direct current and alternate current so um, DC let's see DC first Huh. direct current is what that it is only one direction you can see in the image okay this is moving image you can see here which is a uh, of course you know current would be passed positive to negative what is the direction of current which is positive to negative and this direction of current is only one way right you can see it's just transfer positive terminal to the negative terminal and the bulb or any appliances would be on right not only bulb it's a dc motor also the elevator is only in one direction right so this all is applying by the dc current okay so this is the figure or you can say circuit diagram of the dc and here you can see the AC uh, which is periodically transferred okay uh, as you can see in alternate current what is that you can see in the figure first is going a left then we go in a right of course as I said current always pass positive to negative but why in AC some current is passing to a negative to positive also right so it is uh, called forward bias and reverse bias okay some kind of voltage is uh, required to transfer AC to DC or DC to AC but here you can say it's a forward you can say positive to negative and reverse you can say negative to positive current is uh, just flowing okay so in this uh, electronic language you can say if the current transferred positive to negative then it's called forward bias and if the current transfer negative to positive then it's called the reverse bias right so it's going to positive to negative then also negative to positive you can imagine uh, graphically right if uh, uh, in a graph of x and y axis if you can say, uh, if you just imagine that positive then it's going to be in a, a upper side uh, to the first quadrilateral and the uh, second one is of up upside okay and then uh, then it's come to the zero and then start to negative and then comes to the positive so you can imagine the waveform or cycle like this right so this is the AC positive to negative then negative to positive with a reference of the zero it's not always be zero some reference or you can say the threshold are there you you can set it up but Imagine the waveform or cycle positive to negative, then negative to positive, again positive to negative. What does that mean? Forward bias to reverse bias, reverse to forward, forward to reverse. Or you can say in other word in easy language you can say 
current would be transferred positive to negative n after that current would be pass negative to positive okay so this is the ac and dc right next is this you can understand uh, this dc and ac you can just observe this image right this moving image just observe it this is dc the charges of electron is passes only in one direction but in ac the charges or you can say electron is just going in positive then coming in negative side then positive then negative right you can see it and yeah this is the symbol of ac just like a waveform one waveform one positive and the downside you can say the negative this is the symbol of the ac current and dc you can say this battery of course every single battery you using in a, a game or remote or any other uh, appliances this always are dc current because it's applying only the direct current it's not going to be change or not going to be vary okay so this is the dc and ac now let's see some more about ac and dc current then we will see the waveform of the ac and of course how to generate the ac okay right start ac can be uh, produced using the device it's called alternator right of course what is meaning of the alternating you know that right alternate means what somehow up and some is just missing something and comes other way and then again comes that way and then again in other way right so it kind of alternative right so you are generating ac current you producing ac current this device is called what alternator okay and this device is the special type of electrical generator designed produce ac current okay which is electrical generator and it's called the alternative okay so uh, you can see this uh, diagram what is that it is a loop of wire you can see the loop of wire where is it this is the iron core you can see the coil of a copper coil of insulated copper wire right of course wire is made by what copper some other alloy also but basic is copper right so a loop of wire you can observe this uh, diagram as i am going to say right a loop of wire inside of the magnetic field why it is magnetic field because you can see here this s and n is magnet star south and north pole right so loop of wire inside a magnetic field which induce a current along the wire right the rotation of the wire can come from the any number of means what is that any number of course the coil where you uh, rounded or the winded coil its number of uh, coil also is included that how many numbers of a coil is wounded on the uh, this copper wire you can see in the middle on the axle okay uh, if you want to generate more current the uh, winding coil is more right so it's proportional right a wind turbine or you can say a wind turbine a steam turbine flowing water because the wire spins and enter different magnetic polarity periodically as the voltage and current alternate on the wire right what is that mean coil number of coil would be increase uh, this increase and some kind of uh, you can say supply is required but after that uh, when 
of course it's a coil and this is s and n right so is a moving uh, this motion you can see here the arrow if moving this motion and the, by the attraction of the south pole and north pole the move automatically okay this is the basic uh, rule that apply that current voltage and the direction okay this is apply in your um, a fan you know your ceiling fan that is apply only this this is one kind of motor right so i'm going to tell you the basic one we can go to thoroughly in some another video but this is the alternate current by the force okay by the force to n to s or s to n if it's going to a uh, move in the axle and the current would be generated right so uh, this is the ac generator okay i'm just giving overview if you have a question you can write it up okay i will try to go more thoroughly in it okay in the next video okay what is ac and dc now you can see the appliances here that uh, production unit you can say power supply or machinery it's just dc uh, dc current or used only in a one direction only right only one direction you can say elevator uh, vacuums okay sewing machine it's just started on a one direction only not is going to be a uh, positive or negative forward or reverse it's just only one direction so dc motor or dc current is going to be used in it now in ac motor ac you can say ac is ac is alternate current but this ac current is also used in ac what is that ac is air condition right <laughs> yeah so using <coughs> ac air condition if you use that you know the power is required more that after some time is going to be decreased then again applying more power is just like on off on off it's not going to be on off but some power is required more so when it's going to positive to negative it's called what forward bias then power is required more it means what the charges is going to be uh, flow more in it but whenever it's going to be reverse bias then their charges or you can say the electrons are going to be decreased at some point that's why the ac is going to be slow right so this is the one kind of appliances that i'm going the uh, uh, uses or you can say the application how it's going to be work right so this is the one and the uh, ac fan appliances <coughs> compressor okay conveyor system hydrochloric irrigation it's called the ac motor is used the in in ac motor there are a two pole n and s is going to be uh rounded or move and with respect to the n n is a number of uh, a coil is wounded in it right so with respect to that the ac current is going to be increased some voltage is required for that but it is as compared to the dc ac is easily can get and of course the electricity bill is going to be decreased okay and uh, the side is dc motor is uh, a direct current uh, used more voltage more force is applied because it has to go in a one direction right so it's require more force so dc is uh, electricity bill is going to be increase okay because it's constantly you have to go right okay this is the ac okay now uh, let's do some mathematically as you can see the sine wave this is called the sine wave or you can say the ac wave form okay ac sine wave form why you know that uh, by the table mathematically sine 90 is what sine 90 is zero right and sine zero is what one okay you know that 
already. So sine 90 is pi by 2. Right. So the waveform of the sine wave is started from the 0. Right. And sine 0. Okay. Started from the 0 and going to the up which is called the positive side. Right. Then is going to be down and then goes to the negative side right sin 90 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so this is going to be start from the 0 okay of course AC current is always start from the 0 now you can see this direct current line is going to be 1. Why it is 1? Because it's called the cos wave. Cos, cos theta, right? So, cos uh, 90 is 0. Sorry, cos 0 is 0. No, I'm sorry. Cos 90 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. Okay? Let's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you again. So, do not be confused as I do right now. Sin 90 is 1 and sin 0 is 0. Okay. Cos 90 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. Okay. So, sin wave is called the AC current which is started from the 0. Okay. Because is started from the 0 and here is cos wave which is started from the 1 ok so it is what sine wave is passed from starting from the 0 and or you can say AC current is passing wave from the 0 started from the 0 and the DC current passes from the 1 only it is called the cos wave and this is called the sine wave. Sine wave is AC and the cos wave or you can say the direct current is start from the 1. Okay. Sine 90 is 0 and sine 0 is 1. So it is like kind of alternative like this. Okay. This is the mathematically we can prove it later. But here is DC you can see here is just direct current only in positive side okay only in positive side there is no any minus 60 uh, voltage apply in it voltage dc is only plus, plus 60 not minus 60 but you can see here in an alternative which is uh, plus 120 voltage and the minus 120 voltage also this alternating positive then zero negative then zero okay which is with respect to the voltage and time. Voltage is what? Applying force to pass the current in the conductor with respect to the time. Okay. Now at last, uh, see the comparison of the AC and DC. Okay. AC is what? Safe. Okay. Safe to transfer over long city distance and they can provide more power. Voltage DC is what cannot travel very far until they begin to lose the energy, right? Lose the energy in DC, we can, uh, some uh, pole that you can see the amplifiers are there or you can say the transformer are there. So, uh, there's going to be increase the force. So, the current would be passed further, right? So, use the amplifier or Amplifier is going to be used in AC and the transformer is used in DC. Why it is a safe or AC? Because it's going to be change alternative, right? Positive to negative, negative to positive. So it is safe. It's not only is going in a high voltage or highly current is applying in the conductor, right? It's somehow positive, then negative, negative, then positive. So it is safe. But direct current is not safe at all, right? Uh, at your home is a uh, uh, comes to 30 voltage. 
with a uh, 50 hertz so this is what the direct current directly applied from the power station right so this is the direct current that then you have to uh, convert or the plug or the circuit is going to be converted in the ac current alternate current okay that's why a uh, 230 watt is going to be applied in a uh, big appliances tv washing machine uh, then a microwave or something alternate current could be a uh, lace and of course this 230 watt is not directly uh, just come to the your phone charger right so it's going to be change uh, ac to dc and of course is apply the breeze circuit or some else or a clipper clamper mixed together we will see in another video let's see next point rotating magnet along the wire right and here is a steady magnetism along the wire okay rotating magnet along the wire whatever the winding in it and the uh, the rotor it's called the rotor you can uh, if you see the motor it's a round shape and other inside the uh, two pole north and south pole is going to be rotated alternatively right up to down up to down is going to be rotated so magnet is going to be rot and by some kind of voltage and the ac current is going to be generated right so in a magnet uh, if uh, you can see the ac motor and dc motor ac motor the magnet is going to be rotated and the dc motor the magnet or you can say the pole of the n and s is going to be steady okay now next is the frequency alternating current which is 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending upon the country in india there's something a uh, different words in a uh, usa some a uh, different horsepower right is something changing in direct current there is no frequency change okay it's a zero but it's not a zero uh, as you can see here it's only in one direction and the inner one zero it means it's not going to be change okay it's a steadily it's constant that's why it's called the zero zero is not in a um, mention like uh, there is no any power or no any current is applying zero is a constant and only in one direction that's why it's called the zero right frequency is more it, it, it's more frequencies f is equal to 1 by t with respect to the time uh, the voltage is going to be changed it's called the frequency so frequency is 50 to 60 hertz is going to be changed but in this direct current frequency is not going to be changed with respect to time it's just the same or you can say the constant that's why it's called the zero okay now next uh, direction what is the direction of it it's a reverse direction or forward direction too here is not given forward but it's forward also right i'm just taken by the google but it's a forward also it's in a forward direction and the reverse direction also as you can see the figure up here okay it's a forward direction and the reverse direction also right but in dc there is only one constant direction is a one direction only okay now let's see it is the current of the magnitude varying with the time right and it is current constant magnitude magnitude is what it's called the amplitude the height the height of the waveform it's called the amplitude right so amplitude is going to be changed as per the applying voltage as per the applying force on the electric charges then it's going to be changed right but in dc there's only one voltage there's only one force applying on the electric charges it's not going to be changed with respect to the time right i hope you understand uh, this all concept of the ac and dc if any question you can ask okay um, wait for the next video uh, something uh, new or good thank you for watching Bye.